before we begin actually making our mummies, um, we need to think about how we're going to store them later so these don't dry out. So you will have a small piece of paper. I just need you to write your name with a sharpie before our hands get dirty. Take the big plastic bag that you have been given, open it, slide your name on the inside, and then you can just set this aside for later. You can All right, you will get a piece of clay that looks a little something like this. We are going to roll out our own slab uh, to create our mummy. So you will have two of these dowel rods at your table, which are uh, 3 8 of an inch thick, and you'll have a nice large rolling pin. Now, we only have one of these per table, so we're gonna have to take turns, and a good way to help your neighbor is to just help steady their mat, maybe put your hands on the edge like this so that it doesn't scoot around our tables as much, and then when they're done rolling, um, they can pass it on to you so you can roll your slab. You may wanna stand in order to get some good pressure and leverage, and all you're gonna do is take the rolling pin and you're just going to begin rolling across the slab to flatten out and get a good even piece of clay for our mummy. Now you're going to roll back and forth and you're going to start to hear this sound. That is the sound of the rolling pin going across the dowel rod. So when you start to hear that and when you see that your clay really isn't getting any bigger, you more than likely have a nice flat slab to start working with. So you can pass the dowel rods on to someone else and then you can get one of the mummy templates that will be on your table. Your slab should be large enough for your template. You wanna lay that down, take your pointed wood tool and you're just gonna very lightly trace around the edge. We just wanna see where our mummy is gonna be on this slab. We do not want to cut it out yet because we have to add a few more things before that step. So remove your mummy template. And then your table will also have a few rubber uh, stamps or texture plates like this. You wanna take those plates you want to lay them so that they come to the bottom of your mummy and right across here, just where the shoulder starts to dip. Lay one on one side, one on the other. And then very gently, you wanna take the rolling pin and you just want to press into the slab. You don't wanna make it any thinner. You just wanna put enough pressure on there to get those stamps to imprint on your mummy. You can pull those out and you'll have a really cool design printed on the body of your mummy. Okay, now it is time to cut our mummy out. So we'll lay our template back inside carefully, inside the outline that you created before. And this time we're gonna press all the way through with our pointed wood tool. And we're gonna come all the way around. We wanna make a little exit right there on the side. Come all the way around. Be really careful to try to hold your wood tool straight up and down and not at an angle so you get a nice flat straight edge and try to follow that cardboard template as closely as possible. Peel the clay off from around your template and you will have the top base or I'm sorry, you will have the top of your mummy now. All right, next we're gonna start creating the facial features of our mummy. You've got a nice amount of extra clay left over from where you cut it out. You wanna pull off the piece, uh, I don't know, about the size of a strawberry. Cover what you have left with a wet wipe so it doesn't start to dry out. And we're gonna roll this strawberry sized piece of clay into the shape of an egg or an oval. This is gonna be the face of our mummy. So just kind of pat it and tap it, roll it in your hand to make it smooth. You want something that looks a little bit like that. You can take it, tap it on your mat to flatten out the back, just like that. And then we are gonna score and slip this with our bowl of water and our toothbrush. So score and slip the back of your mummy's head. And then you wanna just seat that really well towards the top of your mummy. All right, we're gonna create some facial features. So you can take the flat end of your wood tool and just carefully on the side of your mummy, roll it back and forth just to create the space for an eye. Do that on both sides. And then you can pull off a little bit of clay. You're gonna have to kinda uh, 
work to size these little eyeballs correctly. If you get too much, pull a little bit off and just work with it until you get about the right size. Test it out, that's a little too big, so I'm gonna pull off a little bit of clay. It doesn't take much at all. Roll that into a really tiny ball. Once you've got it sized appropriately, you can take just a little bit of water on the end of your toothbrush, score and slip that, and position it into your mummy's eye socket. Once you've got both eyes positioned, you can take the pointed end of your wood tool, you can poke those little spheres you created to create the pupils to make your mummy look a little bit more realistic, and then we will use a small amount of clay to shape the nose. You just want a cone shape, you can use your fingers, you can gently roll the clay on the mat, but again, you're just going to have to play with the sizing of this to um, make it look like what you feel is appropriate for your mummy's face. Again, kind of tap the back, make it flat, score and slip, and you want to place that on your mummy. Now, you'll have a kind of a turquoise tool like this. If you want to use the flat end to kind of help you shape and press down on your mummy's nose, you may do so. It just kind of helps you add just a little bit more detail to him there. And then you can also use this tool, this flat curved end, not the pointed end that looks like a small fork, but the flat curved end, and you just want to poke that in below your mummy's nose, wiggle it back and forth to create an opening for the mouth, just like that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and create our mummy's arms. So before I start, um, I'm going to think about where I want those arms to be, and I'm going to use my wood tool to draw some lines to help me lay these out. So we want our arms to start up where the shoulder curves, and they're going to come down and look sort of like a W. So they're going to come down and come back up. Our mummy's arms are going to be crossed like you see on many Egyptian sarcophaguses. And then we'll have another one that comes from the other direction and does the same thing. So now we know where we're gonna need to um, score and slip to attach our arm. So all we've gotta do is actually make the arm. Take a small piece of clay. You can roll that back and forth to create a coil. See about how long you're gonna need it to go across your mummy. You can cut that with your wood tool Make sure you've got it how you want it to be, and then you're gonna score and slip the back of the coil, just like this. And you're also gonna score and slip a little bit along that line you created so that these are really good and attached, just like that. And then you also wanna take your thumb and just gently press the end flat to create the look of a hand. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with the other arm. Okay, now we're gonna create the headdress for our mummy. So again, you're just gonna use a coil, so that's just a little bit of clay rolled out. Measure again to see how long you would like that to be. Cut it off, score and slip. And you're gonna attach this around the head of your mummy. And then you're gonna take your thumbs and you're also gonna flatten out the end of the headdress, just like that. Now you can take your turquoise tool and you can take the edge of it and you can press little lines all the way around to create the details of the headdress. And then I've also placed a few small stamps on your table that are on the end of a, a cork and you can use those to make a little medallion or maybe like a little jeweled piece at the end of the headdress. You can also use those stamps to add a little bit more design and detail to the arms. And you can use your wood tool to help define where your mummy's hands are by just pressing the pointed end in to make it look like there are fingers that are separated on your mummy. That is about as far as we will get today. We will be adding a few more head, uh, details to the headdress later, but in order to store your mummy for today, you need to have your plastic bag ready, have the, uh, the end of it open, Place your hand and your forearm over your mummy, flip your mat, 
peel that up. Now make sure your mummy is really nice and supported. You don't want to hold this with just your hand. You want it to lay down over your wrist and forearm. You're going to slot it into the bag. Use your other hand to flip it back over. Make sure that we can see your name. Make sure it's facing up with your mummy. And then you really want to make sure that you seal this bag closed so that the clay does not dry out and we can continue.